Look what they did to my boy. Apparently Australia still requires you to wear a mask to sit in a lobby for a medical certificate. Grounds. I've watched a few trials in my time. Besides Amber Heard unable to cry on the stand but making the faces and gestures anyway, this fucking Brooks trial is the most cringe thing I've watched so far. I hate beginning a comment with, as a. But, as a law student and someone who has been involved in the court system on a personal level, this whole thing is an unbelievable joke that was entertaining before but now is just, uncomfortable. I usually reserve my harsh opinions for the PTB, government, virtue signalers. But this, this man leaves me cringing so hard that I want to kick him in the dick because my skin is crawling so bad. Grounds. I didn't hate him on a personal level before. Scum tends to act a certain way when in the spotlight of authority so I knew he'd be an idiotic character to observe when he took the stand, but the fact he dropped his counsel in order to represent himself was an interesting decision, a la Ted Bundy. Only, credit where it's due, although he also believed he was smarter than he was, Ted Bundy did a hell of a lot better in court, even getting a compliment from the judge. Get experienced professionals to represent you in such a high-profile and serious case. You represent yourself when you have an overdue parking ticket, not several murders attributed to you. Yet, the jackass continued on, waiving his right to adequate counsel slash representation and rocked up in his prison orange to appear in front of the jury. He claimed to the judge, after her offer to let him appear in a suit or street clothes, he said that everyone already knew he was incarcerated so it didn't matter if he wore the prison uniform. Judge Darrell even told him why, to help him negate any jury bias. Grounds. In one of my modules from a previous unit, the positioning of the accused inside a courtroom is important. It's proven in studies that if the accused was held behind glass in the courtroom, sitting directly across from the jury, intimidating to them, changed their perception of the person appearing before them. As well as clothing, look, hairstyle and more. But, nope. This guy insisted on looking like a seasoned jailbird for his first impression and introduction to the jury. Every time I tune in, his bewildering arrogance leaves me in shock and shaking my head, the constant disrespect and accusations, the 456,748,673,712,834 times he should have been taken from the court and had the ship beaten out of him held in contempt. I'm aware that someone already incarcerated doesn't take held in contempt as a threat. I've never seen someone show such disrespect for a judge, jury or courtroom. It's like watching a young and inexperienced zero teacher or mother arguing with her child. Daryl Brooks continues to yell insults, accusations that the state is deliberately railroading him into mistakes and picking fights with the prosecution and judge. It's at this stage, that my attention is on Judge Doro as much as the low-class joke of the pleb wildly gesturing in front of her. She is responsible for upholding the respect and sanctity of a court in the lawful process, power and jurisdiction. I have never witnessed a judge allow some loser to talk to them like they're the same level of social standing, education or public administration. Brooks yelling at her, telling her that he doesn't like her tone and screaming that his ex lied and said she was 18 when he impregnated her as a minor, are now cringy for another reason, this public officer, making a lot of money, with the world watching her as she presides over a terrible crime is repeatedly taking his shit. Grounds. And the news coverage is trying hard to catch up to the popularity of Law Tube, but they need to stop with their opinions on Judge Doro's amazing patience and being a good person. At a certain stage, a judge needs to stamp out the idiocy and disrespect to the families in attendance. He allegedly not convicted yet. Killed six people and injured over 60. And he is allowed to leave the court on tangents that go nowhere as an excuse to scream at people. His defense tactic appears to be to slow down and distract proceedings in some ego-fueled battle against the judge every single time he says anything, to try and play the sovereign citizen slash Freeman straw man card, to argue that all the witnesses didn't actually see him behind the wheel, that his car manufacturer recalled the make of his car due to brake failure. Later investigated and irrelevant slash tested and unrelated. His brakes were in working order at the time of the parade, things like this usually get referred to as a train wreck it's not pleasant to look at, but you can't look away. I'm still expecting him to lose his shit once again and call the prosecutor a fat bitch. I wish someone would put his unintelligent, arrogant and irritating ass out of its misery and by that I mean somehow make it mandatory that he gets adequate counsel because he is obviously struggling to represent himself, something 25th Amendment like. Give him another slash stringent mental assessment. He clearly needs one.
Let him outside the court and let nature take its course. LOL that's a joke, for the willingly offended. Grounds. I'm a grown man with grown kids, ain't nobody gonna talk to me like that Daryl Brooks Jr. to Judge Doro O. Oh, shut the fuck up, you vacuous clown. It literally reminds me of Lil Mateo from back in the day. Except that little dude was super cute and fun to watch, and I'd never want to stab him in the eye with a fork. Sub because you're always late for work, you deadbeat fuck. I've just realised that you're an author and can't even say the word duck. What the fucking hell's up with that?